Hello, everybody. Gage says it's empty. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Today, thanks for stopping by, I do appreciate it. Today's beer, if you hear, comes from Hot Butcher for the World. Uh, Jeremiah has hooked us up with another beer mile package. Man, my, my friend, my brother, Jeremiah from Hot Butcher, comes through again. We got a nice beer mile package uh, from him this time. Uh, but I'm looking forward, and this is going to kick it off, so we're going to get a good one here. I'm pretty confident. This is the Rough Spun. Uh, and, of course, everybody knows uh, this watched any of my reviews. I'm a pretty big fan of everything these guys do, just like a lot of other breweries I'm a big fan of. Treehouse and Trillium and, oh, there's so many. The list goes on and on and on. The, the breweries that have stepped up to the plate, Pariah, and so, so many others uh, that produce world-class, outstanding beers and not just a bunch of transitional stuff. And uh, I, these guys are definitely in that category. Uh, this is an eight and a half percenter, guys. Simcoe, Columbus, and Amarillo Hop Double IPA. So, uh, and of course, our artwork is by Dan that uh, does, he does all their labels. And uh, a very nice graphic. I catch your attention now. The way it's done, he's a master at what he does. I mean, it's, everything is just coming in line for these guys uh, now that they've got their own facility and uh, the artwork and the beers and, and everything coming together for a total package for these these guys now. And, and I see much continued success in their future because everything that comes out of the door is just like Treehouse or Trillium and so many others that you're not getting, well, this is okay. I guess they they have figured out the combinations of what hops, and, and they still experiment. But I don't know if they do little tiny batches of each one of these before it actually comes to this, or they just gotten so good at it lately uh, that everything they put their finger on turns to uh, a nine or a ten beer. So. Uh, just my opinion though guys, uh, they do make one of my favorite styles, uh, being that New Eastern, uh, North Eastern style IPA, or a double IPA. Anyway, back to this before I ramble on and on and on and on. I've told you about the hops, I've told you about the ABV, uh, on the bottom of it it said it was packaged on 041822. So, pretty recent here guys, and it says Rowdy Rough Boys underneath of it on the package date and the timestamp. So, let's get it into the glass, what do you think? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, right up in here. That looks like pineapple juice coming out of the can there, guys. It's a little bit lighter than orange juice coming out of the can. I don't know if you can see that or not. Swirly swell! Hey, right, there she goes. Right at a finger and a half of head on that and guys I mean look the light coming out but I mean that's a real close to orange juice maybe a shade or two lighter than orange juice but I mean that's a cloudy hazy New England style yeah. northeastern style up in his style uh, as far as appearance that's, in a t that's a 10 on that style right there guys that, that's perfect what do you think To the nose we go. Citrusy, pineapple. Try 
tropical fruit notes. I'm, I'm, I'm getting mango, a hint of some peaches even. That smells awesome. That's absolutely outstanding in the aroma. So, a two. If it's strike three, that would be a home run. Smells like it. Cheers. Cheers to everybody at Hot Butcher. You guys are right. It works for me. That absolutely works for me. Simcoe Columbus Amarillo. I have brewed with all three of those hops. Don't know if it's been that combination before, but most definitely brewed with all three. Mm. It's got a little twang to it too. I like that. And this, the, the bitterness uh, is not off the chart like the one we had yesterday. I mean, that thing said it was 83, but Lord, yeah, it was just like it was whack every time I took a sip. <clears throat> it was grabbing my tongue. So it, the IBUs, just, that particular one just didn't work for me. So, uh, But it was well made. I mean, uh, uh, a lot of people like that strong, super heavy bite. And I probably was in that crowd at one time, but I'm more in the a little more manageable, a little more sipper, so it ain't grabbing me like that. So let's do the final swirly swirly. And to the glass we go. Alright. There it is. Another another great artwork on the can. From Dan. Guys. That smells absolutely awesome. Looks good. Tastes good. Smells good. My belly. It is good. Let's go sip on it. Alright guys, I'm back. Uh, left a little bit of lacing on the upper part of the glass, but not so much around the bulb part. Uh, where the head uh, left uh, a tracing on the glass. But, it's a taste of beer guys. I mean, you, you cannot go wrong with this brewery. I mean, no matter whether it's a lager or an IPA or a double IPA or a style, uh, they have got this style nailed down, no doubt about it. Uh, very, very tasty. I enjoyed this some mango, the uh, grapefruit and pineapple, citrusy, right up my alley. I will choke. Guys, I would buy these beers from this brewery all day long, no doubt about it. And hopefully one day uh, that may come to pass. They are doing great things and growing leaps and bounds. So I wish them all the success in the world, Jeremiah and the whole crew at Hot Butcher. Awesome beers. I mean, this is a solid A beer. 95 for me, guys. Beer Advocate doesn't have enough grades or reviews to give it a grade. I think they require 10 people to do that, so we don't have 10. And Untapped has it at 4.06, which is their A minus. I think it's a little better than an A minus. Uh, the Simcoe, Columbus, and the Amarillo hops come together very well for this beer, so uh, uh, I enjoyed it. I would spend my money on this beer. Um, and they've had 887 people comment on this beer or give it a rating. Uh, so, 887, less than 10. That's where it's at, guys. So, if you've had rough spun from Hot Butcher for the World, let me know what you think. Uh, I enjoyed it. Very tasty beer. Till we meet again, it's because they was in the fridge.